Yo, good morning, y'all. What's up? This is your boy Garrett Spencer. How's everybody doing? I'm doing pr I'm doing pretty good, doing okay. Yeah, today sat today's Saturday and right right now it's about 9:39 a.m. down here in my hometown and you know what today is Saturday. Y'all know what that means. So, uh, I'm going to do a shout out video then have a little discussion afterwards, but um first off, I'm going to start giving I'm going to start off with the shout outs. You know, first person I'm going to give a shout out to is Dr. Josh the Real Gamer, Dr. Josh the Real Gamer, pretty good reviews, bro. Good, excellent game plays, excellent game collections, and and next week is Dr. Josh the Real Gamer's birthday week, y'all. So like he just said, he'll be doing a live stream next week for his for his birthday, and um, you know it's a, you know next week is his special day, his special day, and I'm looking for I'm looking forward to being in his to being in his stream. I like being a part of his channel, and um. He's a good gamer and a good person, and he's cool. He's funny, and he's cool, and uh, he's a got-your-back type of dude. So, Dr. Josh, the real gamer, y'all, check him out. For those of you guys who has him, check him out. Excellent channel, excellent game game collection, excellent game plays, all of the above. Dr. Josh, the real gamer. Second person I want to give a shout-out to is Calvin Jr. Calvin Jr., um... Calvin Jr., y'all, check him out. Check him out. He's funny. He's funny. He's he's cool. He's funny. He likes to dance. He likes to dance as well, just like Dr. Josh does. And I myself like to dance. You know, Calvin Jr., he's silly. He's funny. He had he had some pretty cool streams. He didn't do one yesterday because, you know, yeah, he was pretty he was he he had um he was pretty sick yesterday. And then last week he um said something about he hurt his knee or something, so but Calvin Jr., y'all check him out. Calvin Jr., hope you um hope you, you know, hope you get well, bro. You know, hope you, you know, take it easy, rest up, drink plenty of fluids, and get well, get well and get better, get hundred percent better, bro. Calvin Jr. Third person, wanna give a shout out to his Art Fellow 215. Art Fellow 215, y'all. He he's cool as hell too. Good game, good gaming, good channel. And a cool person to, to talk to and uh, to stream with. Um, so, Art Fellow 215. Fourth person I want to give a shout out to is One Up Woman. One Up Woman. Um, very ni very nice person. Funny, cool, good good channel and good games. One Up Woman, y'all check her out. She's cool and she's uh she's definitely the type to want you want to be around. So, One Up Woman. Another person I want to give a shout out to KB211. KB211 gamer gamer girl focused cool and and seem like pretty laid back as well so one of my other homies KB211 y'all check her out other person I want to give a shout out to is Lil O Bit Caramel Lil Bit O Caramel gamer girl she's cool as hell she's she's funny at times she's funny at times she has a pretty good gameplay and and um Another one of my friends, so Lil O Bit, Lil O Bit Caramel, y'all check her out. Other person I want to give a shout out to is uh Coily Girls, the Coily Girls. Uh, thank you for thank you for coming by my um my um pet my uh why th thank you for coming by my last few couple of streams that I've done. Um, like I said, um, check Co Coily Girls out, y'all. She's cool. She's cool. She's a, a gamer girl as well, and um. And uh, she's cool, and um, like I said, um, I'm glad. I'm glad. I uh, appreciate you coming through the other day, Coil the Coily Girls. So Coily Girls, uh, shout out to her. Check her out, y'all. Appreciate you coming by my last stream. So Coily Girls, y'all. Another person I want to give a shout out to is uh Brian Trusty, Brian Trusty, aka the Trusty Crab. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, Brian Trusty, he's cool. He's funny. He likes to dance. Very good game plays. And he's professional and and um he he also happens to be a Sega Sega fan himself. So check him out, y'all. Brian Trusty. Uh, and um, another person, another person I want to also uh, give a shout out to is um Rotten Games. Rotten Games. Uh, like I said, pretty good streams yourself. Like uh, pretty good streams, pretty good games, and pretty cool person as well. So Rotten Games. Another person I want to give a shout out to is Chauncey Talon. Chauncey Talon, check him, check him out. Good gamer, good person, and 
and good channel, Cha Chauncey Talon. And for the rest of for and for everybody for the rest of the people who's who's been a part of my stream for for the last how many months or for a while or any new new people who's um, a part of my channel, just want to say to the rest of you guys, uh, thank you and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys continue to watch the videos and I hope you guys enjoy and just feel free. You already you already know what to do. So anyway, so with that being said. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my discussion. Go ahead and get into my discussion right now. Yeah, like I said, you know, as far as myself, like I said, yeah, I'm doing all right. I got a, I got a bit of a, I got a bit of a headache, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's funny. I don't know what happened, but all I know is, you know, I was doing my stream yesterday, and then after I ended it, I just started getting, um, I just started getting a headache. I don't know what happened. I wasn't even playing that, playing that long, but. Anyway, I'm like you know, I said, I've been taking some stuff. I've been, you know, rubbing both sides of it, rubbing both sides of my head, and like I said, it's still it's still there. But like I said, you know, I'm t trying to tough it out. When it takes, just took some more aspirin, and just I went to the gym this morning, had a pretty good workout, and you know, just you know, see if maybe I could sweat that out and see if that would help. But like I said, it'll be all right though. So. With that, for that, I probably will not be uh, doing a, doing a live stream today because of that. So once again, I will I will not be doing a live stream today because of that. So you know, today was you know today's Saturday. I wanted to you know do my thing, give give you guys a shout out, and you know just want to make make you guys let you guys know that um I wrote from the bottom of my heart and my soul. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. You know coming through my streams every chance you guys get and I appreciate you guys showing me the love and support and like I said I do the best I can to show you my love and support too by visiting some of y'all streams and y'all's channels and you know just uh just got to return returning the favor that's all so just wanted to let you guys know that but anyway I'm going to go ahead and get into my um get into my discussion right now first discussion I want to get into I want to talk about is the Sega Genesis Mini. Now, technically, I've already basically, you know, I already basically, it's probably going to be similar to what I said about the last, you know, the last um remake of the Sega Gen Genesis ad games that they made and they them screwed up. But you know, as far as the Sega Genesis Mini goes, here's what I here's what I honestly have to say about it, y'all. What I have to say about the Sega Genesis Mini is, you know. Who care? I'm not getting it, and who cares? And I'll tell you why that is. Because you figure the last um, remakes of the Sega they tried to they tried to make by putting like 60 games on the on the at game on the Sega at games, or trying to put as many or put you know what as many game uh, many games on the other ones as they possibly could. You know, like I said, they done screwed the last ones up. Because first of all. The gameplay didn't really look didn't really look the same. I mean, it, it did, but it, it just didn't look the same. It was off. The music and the bass and the audio was so was so off. It, playing that playing that game probably that wouldn't feel the, feel the same as playing the original one. Like you know, like like being in the nineties and you growing up you growing up playing Sega and Nintendo and like the you know back then you know playing that it, it wouldn't feel the same no more playing you know playing the, those type of games because like i said the way i see it right now is you know they're making remaking the sega genesis mini and you know okay wow it's you know they got 40 games on there you know more games than the um many than both of the mini any nes's nes classics did so what? Like I said, depending on what games and how many games, so who cares? Because like I said, that doesn't mean just because they have, just because supposedly they have 40 games on the uh, mini Sega Genesis that they're making now, doesn't mean they're going to be the most popular games on there. Okay, yeah, I'll give them props. They got, they, they, pro they got the first Sonic on there, they got Streets of Rage on there, and they might... My guess is not could be wrong, but they might put a few more popular games on there, but they're not going to put all the other popular games on there. You know what I'm saying? So the other games they might put on there is like basically like older classic games of the Sega Genesis. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So, you know, my suggestion to you, my suggestion to y'all is especially I told this to jo Dr. Josh when he um made the review of the Sega Genesis Mini when he said to leave a comment at the bottom of his page. 
I told him, you know, if I was you, I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it, Dr. Josh, because, I mean, think about it. He already had, you already have like the first uh, three Sega Genesis model models already. They're the original versions. They're better than the, than the last ones they done made and they done screwed up. And if you wanted, if there were certain games you wanted for, um, wanted for the Sega Genesis, like I said, either you probably already have them or you could always go on the internet and order them or go out and buy them, you know, because th that way, you know, if you were to play, if, if you or anybody else was planning on trying to get the Sega Genesis Mini, you guys wouldn't even have to be asking or worrying about, oh, I wonder if, th if this game going to be on there, if that game going to be on there. Like, for instance, I don't know, would Zombies Ate My Neighbors be on there? Would the, um, would, um, I don't know, what uh, any other kind of games that you would want to want on there that you would like to play would be on there, you know? Instead of, like, asking yourself that question by buying that Sega Genesis Mini, you know, instead of worrying about that, just like I said, for those of you guys who used to have a Sega don't have it no more, just just go on Amazon and buy the original Sega Genesis uh, version. Excuse me. Just buy the original version. And like I said, just buy the games that you that you miss it, that you really love and that you miss playing and that you want that you want and want to play on them, you know? You won't have to worry about okay what what they're gonna put on the mini Sega Genesis um game that they're making now or not. You know you don't have to worry about that. You know I mean, and like I said, you know, and another thing is like I said, and if they don't, if there's certain games on there that that you guys um that you guys don't wanted to play that that, that they didn't even put on there, yeah okay, they'll probably say oh well. You can hack some game. You can hack some games on there and download those. Download some games on there, but the only the only issue with that is, in order to you know, order to do that, you got to know what you're doing by hacking games onto your system, onto that, onto those systems, and downloading that stuff. You, you got to know what you're doing. That's like a PC thing. You got to be good with like you know, PC computers and stuff like that. Just like they said, yeah, you could hack games on the mini NES classics. But you got to know what you're doing because if you don't, if you're trying to hack a game onto your system, and you don't know what you're doing. You screw it up. Guess what? Your that system is broke, and guess what? You're out of luck. Then what you gonna do? You know, and you know, and like I said, you try to go out and buy another one. Like I said, more than likely they're gonna be sold out. So my suggestion. So that's why I said for the Sega Genesis Mini, for the Sega Genesis Mini right now that they making, I have to say. Who cares? Who cares? You guys, like I said, you know, I don't know what you guys are trying to do. I don't know what you guys are trying to prove, but you guys are making a lot. You, you guys are making a lot. The people who made the Sega, the original Sega Genesis uh, version, look bad and like look bad in the first place. Because if you guys screw this one up, like I said, you know, you guys, you guys need to just stop. You know, find something else. Do something else to make some money. Like you know, you guys try to make some money off of this. But if something happens, if you guys go bankrupt or something, you guys screw this one up for some reason. Like I said, you guys are just making a, you you guys are just making a, the um the the people who made the Sega Genesis in the first place look bad. So my suggestion to y'all is just just stop, you know, because my my vote is y'all get a thumbs down for that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just speaking the truth about the Sega Genesis Mini. I mean, if you guys want to get it, y'all could get it. But like I said, I mean. For those of you guys who already have the Sega Genesis originals already, like I said, you guys should just stick to those ones and just play the games you guys got. And if there's certain games that you guys used to have or you guys miss and want to play, just just go on Amazon, order some, or go out and buy them. But like I said, that that little Sega Genesis mini shit thing, it ain't shit. So that's just what I gotta say. That's just what I gotta say about that. I mean. I mean, if any, and like I said, if anything happened to my my Genesis right now, I'm probably gonna buy one of the first two model. I'm probably just gonna buy either the model one or the model two. And like I said, probably not, probably not no time soon. But like I said, you know, one of these days when you know me and my girl move out of this apartment, we move into a house and where there's bigger, you know, bigger space and more rooms and sh and shit like that. Like I said. I'll, you know, my plan is, you know, you know, have my own game room, you know, have a couple TVs in there, 
one with the Dreamcast and the um and with the Sega one of the Sega Genesis hooked up to that TV and then maybe on the other TV maybe have a have, have some of the other systems that I have hooked up hooked up to those TVs and you know just kind of go from there see what happens like I said I can't predict the future but like I said that's just that's just what I'm picturing right now but you know but I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, Sega Genesis, yeah, it's a really, it's a really great, it's a really great game. I really respect, I love it, I respect it a lot. But when I'm seeing people trying to, you know, make, you know, when I, like I said, when I seen the last people try to make make the Sega Genesis ad games, like I said, it's just a disappoint. It was just a disappointment, and it's just like it was just, it would have been a big waste of my money. And I'm, I'm not gonna spend, I'm not gonna spend money on something that, you know, that wasn't made right or what you know with you know with things that that was just so off like the music and audio like i said it just it's just not the same it just wouldn't feel the same you know because like i said these games on the, these games on the sega genesis like i said they had that really good music and they had really good beats to it and, and great audio like streets of rage one and two they had they had those good audio um they had that good music and audio to it and um like some of the other games that I play, you know, but as far as, like I said, you know, as far as me getting that Sega Genesis Mini, I, I ain't buying it, so that's just, that's just my honest opinion on what I think about the Sega Genesis Mini, and I'm just going to stick to the original uh, Sega Genesis version, because like I said, nothing beats the, Se the regular Sega Genesis version, so that's just what I, that's just all I pretty much have to say about that. But um, but yeah um. I also also I wanted to also say about the um, excuse me, about the PS2. Now yeah, Doctor Josh, you asked me what games what games that I have for the PS2. Well, I don't have any right now. Now a long time ago, you know, when I was a kid, you know, one of at my old houses, yeah, we, I had a PlayStation. We had a PlayStation too a long time ago. We had a lot of games, but don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to that one, and I guess all the games got lost, or I don't know what happened. It was a long time ago, but right now I don't have any games for PS2 right now. But I ordered like I ordered about three games right now, and like I said, you know, KB211. I'll give you a hint. It was one of the I ordered one of the games. The KB two eleven said that she wants to see she wants to see me play, you know. And I said that I would get it, you know. And everybody else in the stream, you know, like a few days ago, was talking about, oh, that's their favorite game. That's their game. They want to see that too. So it's one of so like I said, I'll give them a hint. One the other one is a fighting game, and the other is another shooting game that I've never that I've never played before. So. Like I said, but like I said, even I don't know what's gonna come first. But then also, I ordered a memory card. I ordered a memory card for the PlayStation Two, and I also did a test um yesterday, seeing if whether or not the PlayStation One controller will work on the PS Two controller. And I guess it turned. It turns out that it did. You know, it turns out that it did. So that's that's good news. But then, but that's good news. And then again. My girlfriend, my woman, she got she got that place that silver PlayStation Two controller upstairs somewhere. I don't know where she put it or what she did with it, but when she was cleaning up and uh, it, like putting things away, I uh, said so she probably put it in one of those box containers upstairs. I don't know where it is. She would probably know, but at least I got something. So, but yeah, you know, like I said, you know, but once the memory card comes in, once the memory card comes in and everything, then like I said, I'll you know. You know, I could do a live stream or do a video on the PS2 on one of the games. So, like I said, that's part of that's a uh, part of the plan. So at least at least when I get my memory card in, because I'm gonna need that to save my data and my stuff. So, so that's uh, that'll be part of that's like part of the plan right there. So, you know, like I said, the third game I just ordered, I just ordered it today. So. And like I said, the thing also the thing is, and I'll think about some other games that I might want for the PlayStation Two. So, so yeah, we'll get it go we'll get it going and rolling. So that's just part of my plan. But anyway, y'all, um, there's really nothing else for me to really say. But um, 
Once again, I want to thank for all, for all everybody that I gave the shout out to, and for the rest of y'all people that's uh, that's a part of my channel who's came by my streams and watched the videos. I want to say once again thank you and welcome to my channel, and hope you guys continue to watch. But otherwise, this is your boy Garrett Spencer, and you guys take it easy, and I will see you guys next time. And, re and remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.